During a lunar eclipse, the moon turns the color of blood. It's extremely rare to have four in a row fall during the feast commanded by the Lord in the Bible. Of the four blood moons, this is the first one visible from Israel. But like all of the eclipses in this tetrad, it falls on the first day of a biblical feast, this time the Feast of Tabernacles. Many who came to witness the blood moon believe it's a sign of harvest. We really sense that the Holy Spirit is coming with a massive harvest, great awakening. And I believe this is the red moon as a harvest moon, that it's an indicator of a jubilee of jubilees for the souls of man. Previous tetrads of blood moons, all falling on Jewish feast days, have coincided with major events for Israel and the Jewish people. In 1492, the Jews were expelled from Spain and Columbus discovered America, which would become a safe haven for the Jewish people. In 1948, Israel was reborn as a nation. And in 1967, Israel recaptured Jerusalem during the Six-Day War. Bob O'Dell wrote a book about the blood moons. He believes there is a sign of good things ahead for Israel, but perhaps troubling times for nations that come against her. I personally believe that in the years ahead, we will begin to look at Israel in a new way. That these blood moons mark a new phase in the life of Israel. It's no longer about the Israel that is struggling to survive, but now it is an, about an Israel that is learning to thrive. Odell says it will be more than 500 years before four blood moons fall again on the first days of the Feast of Passover and Tabernacles. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.